What's up? This is Brandon Donahue, and you're listening to the All Bass No Trouble podcast, where we talk all things hip hop, culture, music, lifestyle, and more. So kick back and join myself and my co-host as we feature our next special guest this week. What's up, everyone? Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode and the final episode of All Bass No Trouble for season uh, one. Uh, we appreciate y'all. I know it's sad. We don't leave me, Brandon. Yeah, I love you. We're upset about it. We ain't going nowhere. We're just taking some time off. It's season one. We're ending it. Take some time off. We'll come back season two. Facts. Stronger, better, faster. Looking more Stronger. Beautiful. Skin popping. Jesus still out, unfortunately. He couldn't be here, but we appreciate him. Love you, Love you my brother. But uh, yeah, man, it's just the final recap. Just to just to kind of go through the It's been a long year, man. Crazy sure. ass year we had, bro. 2021 been a long Wild. year, man. But I'm grateful for everything that's happened. Everything happens for a reason. Right? 2022. I met you strong. almost a year ago. That's Was crazy. It? Was it almost a year? Yeah, cuz I just started the podcast and I started that shit in like January. Damn. I think we maybe filmed one of our first episodes in February. Time been flying. Crazy. Yeah, bro. It's actually, been flying yeah, right. but like right. slow. March. Flying but slow, slow flying. Yeah, I'm you know what I mean. Though. I mean, at the end of the day, bro, this I take everything day by day. Got to stay in the present. Can't really think about the future. Can't think about the past. I'm really just kind of locked into the mission. For I'm real, the purpose, bro. And we've been on it. We did it. Look, like we were on our shit. Facts. We, we could have easily year. been like, nope, like full year for y'all, man. We did this shit. No cap. And I'm proud of us. Yeah, me too. As a collective, I'm bro. We kept it going. You know what I'm saying? Clap Shout out hands. us, motherfucker. Shout out us, man. Let's all go. Base, all base, y'all. Thank you guys for tuning in all year. Too. Yes. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, and there's some uh, avid listeners, bro. You want to actually, you know what? Since we're talking about it, bro, I had a, my homie. Shout out Charles, too. You know it was really cool, Shout bro. Shout out Charles. We were, uh, I was out the other night with uh, all my people from work and shit. We're uh, celebrating my homie. He's moving on to a new job and this and that. Were you so, drinking? Yeah, of course. Uh, <laughs> 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 questions. Why are we asking questions like I'm that? Bro? Like, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, man, this is really cool, bro. Because like, he's my homie. You know what I mean? I feel like I feel like it's doper when people are close to you say shit like this instead of strangers because it's easy for strangers to say stuff to you or like your stuff because it's like they don't know you. Right. So when someone knows you, I feel like that's when it's hard to get them to be like, well, I know you. Why would I tune in or listen? Uh, yes or no. You know what I'm saying? I like, you, you can get their support, but right. I think it's really dope. When he said this, and, and, you know, long story short, he just said that he, like, had, like, a lot of anxiety for no reason, just popped up. He's fucking kind of, like, geeking out a little bit, you know what I mean? Just Because mm -hmm. that's how anxiety is. kind of pops up. And he was driving, and he's like, "Oh, oh, oh, wow! Uh, Brandon did a um, episode with DJ Felly. Let me listen." And he said, "Listening to the podcast and how we talk and our conversations fucking calmed him down and got rid of his anxiety." He's Damn. like, "Bro, like it was so dope." He's like, "I even realized." He's like, "Oh, my anxiety's gone." He's like, "Yo, it's like it was so cool that it was your podcast that I was listening to." That's dope. And I just have random anxiety, and I throw your shit on. I felt good just because of like. How you guys sound in the conversation? And I was like, bro, it's that is my voice, bro. bro. I don't know, man. My I think voice it's my is voice. very angelic. I think it, bro. you know what? We gonna have to put up a poll. Like a baby Whose angel. voice do you enjoy the most when you listen to the podcast? It's probably gonna be Wolf, though. Nah, probably, they probably love his laugh. And nah, his voice. <laughs> no, we ain't talking about laugh. <laughs> that motherfucker. <be> like, <laughs> I said, make sure we could get Wolf's full laugh in there without bursting our eardrums. Man, what if we man, like, that? It's like a repeat. Man, like just as, oh, action. we got to get Raymark to do that, That'd bro. That'd be fire. That'd be so <laughs> funny. Just Wolf's laugh <laughs> like a meme. Like, <laughs> anytime, anytime Yo, somebody 20 says time. some dumb shit or something anytime, like that. Anytime, bro. Posted. He gasses me up with my terrible jokes, bro, because he laughs. <laughs> He laughs and they're good laughs. Like Wolf got laugh. that. Wolf got that infectious laugh. Like when he laughs, you like uh, uh, you know. What I mean? like you, just, you just giggle for and, no reason. And you know it's just like his is real. Yeah, his you know, like real. he's genuinely like, yo, yeah. that's funny. You know what I mean? <laughs> Miss my boy Wolf, man. Come yeah, back, shout man. out Wolf. Shout out I wish Wolf, he was man. here know, next right? year, season two. It's all good. He'll be back. Come back. Go, I'm on, I got that man's number. I got his address. He ain't going nowhere. I'll fuck pull him out the house. I say, bro, we filming the episodes. Fucks. Season two. The people want the fake Ebro back, bro. <laughs> I remember when I first came on. Yeah. And you guys called him the fake Ebro. I was like, mm. I see it. 
I mm-hmm. kind of see it. I can see mm-hmm. the Ebro, you know, little head. That's why he wears his hat back. Yeah, so he can, right. You know, hide his so head. So he sees it. <laughs> 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 All right, let me stop backing on Wolf. I but bro, what, I mean, yeah, what a year, bro, for real, man. Podcast aside, life, like, man, life has been interesting, man. I just, I've kind of been in a silo. If I'm not on the podcast, I'm usually yeah. at the crib. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to like uh-huh. stay locked in for trying projects, to stack man. and I'm trying to stack hustle. And Shit, we got some big way, stuff bro. on the way. We ain't gonna drop the name though. Man, but we got some shit coming. Let's out, just bro. say we are gonna be mighty, mighty comfy. Mighty comfy. We are gonna be mighty, mighty comfy. Cozy. I ain't gonna drop. The name. Oh, we gonna be mighty cozy. Hey, man, I just uh, the thing is, I'm uh, like I said at the beginning of the episode. I'm just very blessed, bro. Mm-hmm. Very thankful that I'm able to execute visions that I'm literally seeing in my head and making my dreams come true. So like, it's like it's a big. That's thing, the dopest shit too, too. And it's like. Me too with like the music shit, you know, bartending. It's like you could get on yourself and be like, oh, man, why am I bartending? Why am I still doing this? But it's like, bro, I fucking still make good money to survive and live very comfortably yet chase a dream and do this. Like this is my favorite hobby. Like remember, you know what? I remember one time you were having a bad week and you you were having a bad week. You were in a mood. You didn't tell us nothing, but you got there. We sat down. We started filming the podcast at the end. You said. Man, bro, I was in such a bad mood, and then we sat down and did this shit, and I'm I like, remember. <laughs> you, you remember it? You're like, man, I feel so happy now, bro. Like, I love y'all. Like that, like, you know what I mean? It's like dope. It's yeah, like, man. it's like our energy. Bro. I'm never ever. I'm never like, fuck. I gotta film the podcast. I'm always like, word. I got the podcast tonight. Cool. Yeah. Who we having on? What are we gonna talk about? Like, right. it's the dopest hobby in a sense that is gonna blow up because fuck y'all we run the best podcast <laughs> hey no cap we do run the bus hey podcast. we look like, good so we clean. sound good yeah. just clean good guests shout out the guests shout out the guests shout out the audience one. man i can't thank the audience man. enough though bro like the audience is what's helping bro us. we have grown uh, you know what really and I'll, growing, I'll put the numbers growing. out there it's cool because you have like uh they'll show me the stats like bro there's 30 people at least that tune in every single week to us. That's why. 30 people. It's probably because of me, bro. Huh? It's probably because of me. <laughs> so they you just swear. We're going to we gonna change this. We're going to change, change this to Jordan's podcast. What you know what? Fuck, I'm have who on? am I? What shoes I'm going to have yeah. on? They no one sees the shoes. Man, nah. They see the nah, shoes, bro. Nah, they see the, shoes. <laughs> rocks, they see the drip. Don't play with they me. They see the drip. I'm just playing. They got them. play with me. So We still got you know, shoe swap real quick. I mean, hey, I got 40 pairs, man. Pull up, man. Whatever you want, bro. I got you, man. Mm. I'll take care of you. Mm. But, yeah, like, (laughs) I just, this year has been ups and downs. One thing I'm I'm definitely learning, though, kind of you touched on it, is, like, you working at a bar, obviously, you're making more money to survive. And one thing that we usually get caught up on is, like, being in our, like, dream jobs or being in, like, this I don't know. Not even that. You know what it is? We put an age on it. We put an age we on it. We put an too, age on sure. it. Yeah. That, but it's just like one thing I'm, bro, I'm really learning that, like, I, I mean, I'm in, I work a nine to five. But yeah. At the same time, like, we were so conditioned to work these and, like, this was the norm. But now I'm understanding, like, at the end of the day, as long as your bills are taken care of, it, you got to pursue what you everything want. Everything good, like, bro. Yeah, everything good, bro. As long as the bills are paid. We just talk got, about I throw 100 at the coin right yeah, now, you know bro. What I'm saying, like, <laughs> at the end of the day, because you don't want to be miserable at your yeah, job. You don't want to beat your job. No. Man. You don't want to come home with that same energy. It's nope. Like, is it really worth it? All money's not good money. Yeah. So that's what I'm really Facts. Learning, like all year, bro. So just growth. I feel like even in the past two years, as, as shitty as they've been, like, if you did it the right way, you had a lot of opportunity to find yourself. Shit, no been, matter your cool age. Two years, bro, to be honest, bro, like, two honestly, years. like, I, I remember I said it one episode and I said this might be controversial, but like, I was kind of thankful for the pandemic. I kind of got cool. to sit down for a minute and think about what I want to do. Who is Brandon? Who, like, who is me? You know yeah, what I mean? Like, your purpose, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, even this podcast we put together, it's just like, without COVID, this doesn't happen. In my opinion, Absolutely. I don't think I would have put together the drive or like the ambition is be like, you know, fuck it. Let me do it. You know what I mean? Because it's a like lot. I just had time. And I just had like, time finally, like, bro, because like, I'm on bro. and I'm still I'm on that grind mode still. But I just have this now. But I was mm. able to start it and make it so easy. It's never been hard to do this now because it's just like a 
So do you chill. think it was ever hard Or do you think you just kind of needed like a small push I think that there was like doubt and like why And then more of like two Like how am I going to do it Where am I going to do it at da, 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 gotcha. that. But it's like so the ability to sit down And kind of think of being like bro I'm sitting in my crib every day I can map this shit out and put it right. together nicely And I have the resources and the people and, There you go And I'll shout out Matt My Man, man it's sad, Matt, bro. Man. It's fucking sad, man. We're losing Matt. Shout out Matt. For man. the better though. For Matt's better. Not hey, for our better. Not for us. Shout bro. out Matt. Matt, can you pop your head in here real quick? Give Matt, a little wave. Matt has inspired me to be great. Matt, just just pop in here. Everyone show love to hey, Matt. Show love yeah. to Matt, man. He's we got a big wait, inspiration. Here, here we go. Matt can't hear this, but we hear it. We give Clap him a hands cheers for, for you, Matt. Matt. We losing Matt. Matt's on a new journey. We appreciate him so much. We would not have been able to do this shit without Matt. Facts. Hands if you down. guys want to yeah. be inspired, talk yep. to Matt. Yep. Facts, talk man. Talk to Matt, man. Yeah. Because but I, I don't, I'm really, I'm really trying to grow up, bro. Like yeah, I really don't I be thinking you, about bro. nothing else, bro. About but like. We're really at that age, man. I know. Hey, we kind of old heads, bro. I know, bro. I know we look good and young and shit, but. I just want a house, bro. I just want to buy a house and I feel start accumulating assets, bro. I, I like, feel you, bro. That's how I feel, man. Like, I feel you. know we on the same mental and energy, bro. I, don't know I feel what, you. I don't know what. I don't know if it was the pandemic. The pandemic definitely changed me a lot. It took me out the streets. Hmm. I kind of got out of the streets. See, I only know Jordan pandemic. Oh, see, no, no, no. I met you. I met you pandemic, Jordan. I used to be not. In, I used to be in the street. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. what was you doing in the streets? Nothing. I was, <laughs> I was just, I was just I was out, out there. there networking. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Like I said, bro, that's how I met everybody, bro. Yeah, like, facts. That's how I know Jack. Like, yeah, through James, and that's how I know Feli. And like, you know for real. I mean? But I'm, I'm big on relationships too, though. But like, yeah, being out, going to the club, going around, just. So I used to go to workout classes, bro, and just go. Like, this sounds crazy. I would pay a membership for a gym, you know what I'm saying? Just because I felt like that network was good there. Wow. I would still get my workout in. Like, but just, would, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you were, like, specifically of, that gym. But that, I would only say that in my head. It yeah, was just yeah, for yeah, me. Yeah. Like, I would go to, like, a class on Melrose. And, like, I know there was some bad girls in there. So I'd be in there, you feel me? And yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'd just buy the $20 membership. Yeah. Being that bitch sweating dumb hard. <laughs> Great workout, you feel me? Yeah, but yeah, like yeah. the network was crazy, and like I mean, shit, it helped me develop resources that I got today. So you got it though. That's a that's a little move right you know there. Like, hey, bro, it's, you know that's why like, I love you. You know, what I'm saying you can't do everything. You know, at that's the why bar. I love you. You can't do that. No, you can't. You gotta find new hobbies <laughs> and you know new things that you want to do, bro. So facts. That was, those are do, man. one of my uh, tips and tricks of that's your networking final, and That's growing. your final self. Care Jordan tip right there. Network, guys. That's my final self care tip of the year. <laughs> Please network, build your relationships. Relationships are everything. Money's not. Money comes and goes. It isn't, man. It's if fate. you ain't happy without it, you ain't gonna be happy with it, bro. Facts. I mean, Facts. Hey, health as well. Like, yeah. Fuck all that money shit. Like really, really focus on your health. Focus on your relationships. Focus on being better. You. That's it. For real, bro. Thanks don't for twenty twenty, gems. Don't get caught up in the bullshit either. It's so easy to get caught up in dumb shit. Facts. That shit's not important. You know what it is? When you, you know what I think about? Say there's a, you know what I mean? An earthquake or a flood, right? And you have five minutes to grab valuables out of your house. What are you grabbing? What's valuable to you? That's what value is in life. Not like. All this dumb shit we, we still care about. Like, we even talk about we love our shoes and our clothes and fashion and all that stuff, right? But, like, the the pure values in life, like, what are you grabbing? Like, where are your memories at? Where are your photos at? Where's stuff that you find valuable? You know what I mean? Where are your five things that you can grab in one minute and make sure you have them for the rest of your life? Water. Phone right. because of pictures and memories. Right? Um, charger. So I'm charging my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get all sentimental on this man said phone charge. He got all he got all literal. He said, I'm gonna need to charge that phone to look at the memory. Got charge the phone. In a package of salmon. <laughs> Before the then, dog He go grab the package no, of salmon No that doesn't count The dog and stuff doesn't count Cause she's number one Yeah yeah, yeah. Like obviously you can't grab like, 
<laughs> like yeah, your family. Yeah, and yeah, look, yeah. <laughs> like I'm like you got. But if it's, if it's gonna can't be material, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need my phone, my charger. materials, materials. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying. Otherwise, you, can, you don't gotta include the charger too. I'll exclude <laughs> that, bro. You don't need your phone has unlimited battery. Okay. But, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, phone, <laughs> clothes, water, mm. a banana. Okay. <laughs> a banana. <laughs> like. I feel like you Calcium, missed, I, feel, I feel like you took it literal as fuck. You said, "All right, I got to pack a bag." You gotta, or I, yeah, you got to. You know what I'm saying? You no, no, no. I'm saying, bro. but like, think about what's truly valuable to you. You know what I'm saying? Like me, my myself, myself, my right? Family. Like, yeah, so when you take yourself, like, are you healthy? Are you good? Can you get out of bed? There's people out there that can't, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm learning from the pandemic. That's valuable. Man. Like, fuck an Xbox. I ain't grabbing my Xbox and my TV and all this shit I have that I like. It's my comfort. Mm -hmm. We like the we like these things. Facts. I ain't grabbing my jewelry. Like, what am I grabbing in that moment? Clothes and me. I've even thought about. It. I've made like a like a safe box, technically of like valuable things I want. You know what I mean? What you that needs to, to keep. Happen? Huh? What you think? Nothing. <laughs> nothing. But like valuable documents per se, like gotcha. social security card, birth certificate, yeah, like shit that I need. Where if life reoccurs, I'm like. This is who I am. I got right. Yeah. I got right here my whole lunch sack. No you know what I mean? Yeah, but like shit I'm like saying. that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I feel that. I but feel I'm saying like, like it's not. I'm just trying to think, bro. Like I'm re there's nothing I'm gonna grab. Like there's there's nothing more important than me or my family. You know like, facts. So ain't but see, there you go. It's like when you think about it, like no, I don't need to grab nothing. This is what I need. I'm gonna make sure I get home to my family. That's what I'm. Yeah, gonna do. for sure. Um, like not, that's what value is. I'm not bringing. Anything like negative up, but like, did you see the fires or not the fires, the tornado that he took? Mm -hmm. And then, like, so my name is Hector Rodriguez, <laughs> first of all. Um, but yeah, like, Amazon wouldn't let their workers leave and they died. What? Yeah, they wouldn't let them leave for the tornado to go home and like eight people died in the factory. In the factory. Wow. Because it hit the factory. Yeah. Wow. Crazy, right? Isn't that crazy? So that's, that's like, disgusting, bro. That's, why bro. I don't, like, that's disgusting. Materials don't mean that's I mean, disgusting. Wanna, and everyone's still gonna buy their shit off Amazon, though. Facts, bro. And that's just, that's, that's disgusting, shit, bro. bro. Amazon should feel ashamed, bro. When I saw some shit like that, I'm like, bro, nobody cares about shit but money no more. And like, money has no value. You Especially know what's crazy? Is I'm not even seeing anything about this. Exactly. I only found out because of I, w I went to Rolling Loud and Jack Holler performed, and before he performed, he talked about it. And I went, the two, yeah, because he's from Kentucky. Because he's from Kentucky. And he said, hey, I want to bring your mood down. I know this is like, we're all here to have fun. But I have to say this is where I'm from. Like, if you can please make donations. And he talked about it. I was like, wow, that's real as fuck. And I hadn't heard about it that until that like moment. like an F5, bro. Where is it? I ain't seen. Kentucky. No, I'm saying like, where is it at? Like the news about it in the post. Because I'm not seeing it on my shit. Or Marion. You are? No, Marion's out right now. That's why. A Marion? <laughs> What you mean? Oh, you you talking about a mama crime? <laughs> yeah, they call it the Morion. We ain't gonna talk about our stance on COVID because we'll get canceled real quick. No yeah, and you can take that how you want. You could be the non-vax or the vax. We ain't telling y'all our stance because nah, fuck that. A I though. can't even have a conversation at a bar with people without getting in a crazy shouting match. Man, right. I'm just you know that's why I stay at home, bro. It's bro. It's it's been a crazy two years, man. Shout out to any you know what? Shout out to everyone that fucking stood tall. Facts. is good they're healthy everyone that survived it the Facts. people that we did lose to this very tragic is fucking terrible but like shout out to everyone that did come through the other side of this as a better human because i think it did give you the time to do that Facts. I, you I know believe, what i mean i believe like uh like jack was talking about it's a lot of spiritual stuff coming mm -hmm. back because yeah i'm not Everybody a religious man i'm more of a spiritual man spiritual, for sure bro. Yeah, same but 100%. a lot of like a lot of people have money. A lot of people have materials. Gucci isn't exclusive anymore. Nope. All this designer, all this stuff that was like made your ego charged. Now it's like diminishing it or it's just leaving it out of like a, a unhappy state. Yeah. Or so like now, if you do fuck with Gucci and you like it, get it. Of yeah, course. But it sure. don't mean nothing, bro. Yeah, but it's like, like everybody wanted to flex and be. Of course, so, man. So. I'm this and now you ain't like that because this 13 year old got Gucci now <laughs> for real bro you know I, mean? I buy it because I like it Facts. you know what I mean exactly. I'm buying it for the status of it like Gucci actually a belt or a wallet is great leather Facts. that shit will last you Facts. a lifetime a long so time. that you know any of them mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying that like 
wallet you buy off of stand for 10 bucks will last you like a few months cool but it's not like for me if i buy it i like it i like the longevity of it like i could buy shoes that will last me forever if i take you know what i mean like i have an addiction i need to stop yeah (laughs) i do but that's fine you like that that's your vice you like it i need to stop it's cool though it's cool. I want to buy. I'm a saying, house, like, bro. during your. <laughs> yeah, that's different. Buy a house, bro. <laughs> he about to cry. <laughs> the shoes be looking so beautiful. I'm about to buy. Bro, they about the to release these new. Bapes just came out. Fire. I'm saying those. When they drop those Louis Forces collab for Virgil. Two rags. Bro, but them shits are crispy. You know what I don't like? Two rags. You know what I don't like? Actually, speaking of that, shout out Virgil. Rest in peace, rest of power. That shit's crazy, too. That shit was so out of nowhere. And you know what's crazy is, like, same with the, like, Chadwick uh, Bozeman situation. When, like, people have cancer and they don't announce it and go through it. That shit is so empowering, bro. That they, like, you know what I'm saying, though? Like, they're going through sickness and they didn't bring it to the world's attention. They're like, no, I'm going to still do me. My family knows. That's all that matters. And when I go, which is in a short period of time, I'm going to just go. I mean. That's crazy to me. It's empowering. I think I think it's a okay. I I know what you mean. But yeah, the day, you get what I'm person, saying. They're a person, so like yeah. I feel like I've before 2020. I've never told you that I'm ill or sick. I yeah. just kind of got myself better. Yeah, and then if it was something serious, my family was the only ones to know. So yeah. I feel like that's normal. Yeah, but like how we're he's such a huge influence and yeah i guess it's more he's in in the light of it keeps talking about their illness or their success whatever it may be then people feel like oh he should have told me or chadwick boseman should have told me but at the same time like no they're their family he doesn't need to tell you yeah but at the same time it's dope that they don't like give like you know what it is like the sympathy sympathy yeah yeah look for like the love and the in the in the likes then they just wait for it after they don't need it you know what i mean so you think what? Maybe I don't need to get into it. Well, I'm Sorry, not asking, gonna, brother. Come on, it's the final one, you man. Don't, you don't think it was kind of weird? With what? Like his his death and like everything that came about in two days after. Mm. You don't think it was kind of weird? No, it is weird. It's always weird. Like he died and then the collection was called Virgil was here. Yeah. And then like, You're saying how quick it happened? And then they had like a, stu- a sculpture already of him. Here's what I think. I think he had a time table i think they told him this is how ill you are right so i think he put all that stuff in place and he said when i die drop it you know what i mean because that sounds like virgil to me i don't know you think it was like i don't know it was what you weird, think bro tell me what shit. you think it bro nah, nah, it's, just, it's just some weird shit bro i just did. I thought it was different that they had a whole sculpture of virgil well it was kind of like weird how even with like the travis shit how hulu released that documentary so quick i was so like bro how that's what I'm saying. And bro. they took it down because everyone was like, what the fuck are you doing, first of all? Like, this shit just happened. Yeah, like, bro. what are you doing? Bro, I'm telling you. I don't you, know. I think, I think the artistic genius in Virgil is like, you know what I mean? He knew, so he probably told his team and had everything set in so place. he just knew he was, he knew he was going to die Not the day. day. No, no, not the day. I'm saying he probably put it in place. When I do, this is what we do. You know what I'm saying? So then when he died on Sunday, the show was Tuesday? Like, put it this way, right? You can have, you have a Super Bowl, right? Even playoff teams. When the teams go into the playoffs, they they make all that Super Bowl merch already. Of course. To have it geared up until that day. So, all right. so was it was that show scheduled for Tuesday? I don't know. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I ain't on the inside. I don't know. I'm I just mean, saying that's what, that's what I'm thinking. Like was. I, it, was that because it just came out of nowhere? Like, yeah. okay, his yeah, collection yeah, yeah. right after he died, they were like, "All right, his collection is being released on Tuesday." Yeah, in Miami, and like, okay, so did all these motherfuckers have this planned but it, already? It, it could have been randomly for that day, and he didn't make it to that day, mm. and then they just changed the name or whatever. You know what I mean? I don't know. It just it seemed different to me. I mean, I feel you. There's always weird shit, bro. Maybe I was high, stuff. bro. But maybe <laughs> maybe you. <laughs> You know, now I think about it, maybe I was high, bro. Because nah, sometimes when you shit, high, you nah, think. for real though. Like, how you have a whole ass sculpture of Virgil in two days? And that bitch was not no claymation. That bitch was not no wheeled in. That yeah. shit was a legit yeah, yeah. ass shack sculpture on the side, the staples. Already there. Yeah. I get what you're saying. Different. But at the same time, I wouldn't be surprised if it was like set in stone. 
to have it. You know what I'm saying? I can feel that though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Well, R.I.P. My boy. You made a great statement out here. For real, man. You know, so for we're real, gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it pushing. It's been a crazy year of like the uh, the people we lost, and at least the limelight, and then people behind the limelight, Facts. family members, Facts. everything, bro. It's been yeah. a very wild two years. That's why I say like, if people are out here right now, currently like, head on straight, happy, like getting their shit, and mm-hmm. like really their best, like we talked about, the best version of themselves, like. Fucking kudos to you. Facts. Like, we have all been tested to the max these past two years, bro. Man, nothing but a test, bro. Nothing, nothing but a test. Nothing and life is normally a test, but, like, that shit, like, it kind of brought everyone together in a sense, slash divided us now. But, like, we all know what the fuck everyone semi went through in the past two years. I can, I can agree with that. You know everybody, what I mean? Not knows. exactly the same, but... We all went through it. Facts. It's not like a one thing. The whole world, the whole world, shut down at one point, bro. That's crazy. Shit is wild. That shit is wild. What's the next topic, bro? bro? We want to talk about. Like, we can all crazy. start talking about that for forty-five minutes. Uh, yeah, no, we don't. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, shout out to shout out to anyone out there that tune in every week, listen to this too. <clears> Facts, Us, man. you know what I mean? Like my family, everyone. You know, it's not always about music on here, but we're gonna get into it and recap the year. But we have to talk about that. It was crazy, man. It was definitely crazy, man. It was blessed, it was like blessed. you said, blessed. Blessed. Bro. That's all I can tell. You. Blessed. I can give explanations all day and night. That's but it. But just make it. It's back. simple. We're no blessed. Thing. If you're here, you're breathing. You're good. Everything's fine. Your health is right. You are blessed. Yeah, we op- overcomplicate things. We so do, much, bro. We it's do. It's just very simple. Like, just be thankful for what you're doing. Keep going down the path. Right. I feel like so. we just both found the Kanye in us and just rambled for <laughs> no cap, no cap. All right, so recapping the year. Yeah, let's recap the year recap of music year though, real quick. We gotta talk about it, man. Um, so album of the year then. After the whole twenty twenty, man, bro. What you gonna say, CLB? No, 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 it's not CLB. Ooh. It's not CLB. What's yours? My favorite album of the year, still Donda. Is it? it is. is Donna for you? Forever. Donna definitely grew on me more and more and more and amazing. more and more. Then he gave the deluxe edition. You know, you like, know what, too? And with that, like, I feel like the the feud ending, too, I feel like made you hear the album differently. You know what I'm saying? It made you. No, no, no. Anyone. Anyone that is a fan of both of them, you didn't like it. Because it's like, why are we doing this? Like, right. why? Like, I feel like that was... The highlight of my year in the music world is definitely that ending and going to the Free Hoover concert. To see see two icons, bro, on stage. Like, even, like, Drake came out at one point and was like, you don't know how awesome this is for me. Like, this is my idol. Like, this is who I look up to. Like, this is my brother. Like, this shit's done. That's my brother. We're family. I love you. Thank you for having me. Like, bro, to see that shit happen, like, that shit was deep, bro, for both of them. You know what I mean? And for them to both two big egotistical motherfuckers, petty, 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 super to end it and do that shit. If you're a fan of both of them was like the dopest shit ever. I believe that. Yeah, I definitely think that was a, a huge highlight. Mm-hmm. Also marketing. But let me say, I'm going to get that. Some, you know what? I don't want to believe that, but mm-hmm. obviously there's some truth to it. But I feel like I feel like it's actually for real. Like, yeah, I, bro, yeah, I think it's I, think I it's hope they real. make a fucking album, bro. I, I hope they make a song. I make. I hope they make. They do something. Maybe like another song, like Glow or something. Yeah, but not even Glow. Better than Glow. I see that. You know what I mean? They I did like, Forever together, bro. And I was like, you'll never see this probably ever nah, again. Never again. They nah. both did their verses, yeah. like bro, like you will that never unless you were there. If they streamed it too, but like you will never be in that moment ever again. I don't know. Came was mad at me. <laughs> I know that I was my to, highlight. I had for to sure. make it. And it was so recent. It. I don't want to say that just off of recentness, but like <clears throat> that shit was a highlight, bro. Because I'm a mega fan. Like they're both in my top five. Like to see both of them on one stage. I'm gonna have to say I think my top highlight, if it's gonna be a music concert, is still Tame Impala. Not even a you concert. Know, like, I was just saying like my highlight of like adrenaline and like pure like like I probably looked out on stage for like. However long the concert was, just with a smile on my face, just rapping the every yeah. lyric, bro. 
That's how I feel about You know what I mean? Like bliss. Just like, what? This is so beautiful. This so is how do you feel about Drake's set? Uh, it wasn't as good as Kanye's, but I mean, that's to be understood. Like, it's Kanye's show featuring Drake, technically. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Like, everyone posted the memes about it and shit. I was like, but what did y'all expect? It wasn't. It, it said Kanye featuring Drake. Like, I knew Kanye's set was going to be better. I thought it would be at least like some Drake Drake classics. It was like all CLB. He did mostly CLB. He did, yeah, it was pretty much all newer music. He didn't touch no classics. Mm -mm. He didn't touch nothing on like Take Care, nope. not even Scorpio. Nope. None of that. Nothing. It was all CLB? It was all CLB and then like the newer singles that have come out. What new singles? What's next? What's next? Okay. He did what's next. He did um man, I'm trying to think honestly. He did one old song, I can't remember. He did forever. Forever. He did forever. He did did he no, he didn't do zero to one hundred. Nope. What did he do? He did do one. He did one older song, I can't remember. He but did otherwise do he didn't do everything CLB. Cause me and Cam were watching, we were like, damn, like he know he's gonna give us all CLB. It was weird, but at the same everyone made the beams like this is Kanye telling Drake, you can only do something. Nah, so somebody was saying, like, uh, <laughs> I seen a meme that was like, Kanye uh, did a versus with Drake and called it a benefit concert. <laughs> yeah, stupid. I was like, damn, okay. It would have been dope. They probably had time constraints, this, that. Like, obviously, Kanye's set was better, yeah. but I wasn't thinking Drake was going to come out and do, like, 10 songs. I knew what it was. I mean, he did. Eight, like eight, eight he did like eight. Older. You know what I mean? He did like eight, but like you said, they, he didn't get no classics in. It was all CLB. Damn. Maybe that was his decision, though. He's like, I don't give a fuck. This is my music. Nah, not the icons, not the yeah. idol. Now we're here. I don't know. You got a man. Definitely all like all day. And definitely like Kanye and was had the crowd for sure. For sure. Yeah, be, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That's like a hundred percent. That's dope. He had it. A hundred percent. Now you're making me jealous. I'm actually going to Larry June tomorrow. Mm. Fire, you love some Larry June. That's my guy. I'm about to go get educated. <laughs> you right. All about credit and everything. He be getting you right, bro. But no, I fuck, man. My favorite album, bro. I really fuck. I'm still gonna say Donda though, bro. I think that's probably my number one. Like album of the year, like from top to bottom for sure. I mean, of course I got different albums and different artists on this too, but it's either yeah. that or Tame. Like, bro, Tame changed my life. I'm not gonna lie to you. The Tame album? The Tame concert. Are you talking about the memory? Tim, or the like concert. the moment? The, the moment. Concert. The, the concert. And the album came out in February, yeah. Oh, so man. yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's a hard answer for me to think about all these albums and actually think of like you know what? There's like there's like the um Or Snow Allegra. Huh? Or Snow Allegra. Well, for me it's like there's the uh like smarts of it and being like no this is the album of the year and then it's like what did i play the most get what i'm saying but like what i potentially listen to the most isn't per se my album of the year what did you listen to most bro no probably donna and clb in off season oh i forgot about that <laughs> <laughs> disrespectful <laughs> and was dominic fike's album this year Cause when she brought it up, bro, that was probably my top played album for a minute. For real, Dominic's, uh, yeah. I have no idea who that is. Dominic Fike, you don't listen to Dominic Fike? Mm -mm. That's crazy. Mm -mm. He's got that song Three Nights" was like kind of one that blew him up. No, nope, <laughs> bro. <laughs> it's a no for me, dog. Damn, you, to put me out. His, I'll, I'll you know what? It, I listened to that shit nonstop, bro, for a minute. And I probably listened to Circles for a minute. But I can't think of that. Is that this year or was that last year? Might have been last year. Circles? 2020. 2020. They'll say it on Apple Music that year, really? right? Mm -hmm. It might be Tyler's album, though, bro. For real. I actually haven't listened to it in a while. I I do. I haven't listened to it in a while. I do. But I still think I'm going to have to say Don bro. You but if you saying Donda. if you saying top play, Tame Impala, bro. Did you um, did you see my Apple un? Yeah, it's twenty twenty. You yep. see my Apple little unwind for twenty twenty one. It was like Tame Impala one hundred and twenty hours. Oh, then, did they do a like a Spotify year rap thing? Yeah, for Apple Music. Yeah. So then it was like it was like Tame Impala one hundred twenty hours, and then like Don Tolliver or something like. 38 Oh, well, you was fucking with Don, yeah. Heavy, heavy this year. Heavy. I can tell you. No, I'm like, trying to think of fucking... 
Damn. There's a lot of You know what I'm just thankful for the year of music I, mean, I had I'm a saying, lot of people yeah, I, I love had, drop bro I had listened to 860 artists <laughs> That's how I know I was fucking with the music heavy bro Yeah It was a good year for music in general Not just hip hop alone You put me on to some new sounds Which I'm thankful for Open up my you, mind a little bit What was you liking man Talk to talk to the people about the good music man About the good alternative man That's what we don't talk about We talk about a lot of hip hop we, we don't talk about a lot of alternative We don't talk no, you about put, You put me on the team Orange. You put me on the team I've been on actually Blood Orange for a second For real I think Dominic Fike is in that realm of that alternative. He's probably my yeah. most listened to like alternative artist. Toro Emoy. Yeah. He tapped in. Been on that. I got into K Trinata. K Trinata. You know what? I got into vinyl, like we talked about with Felly, just mm-hmm. buying records of like old old jazz records and playing it and hearing cool samples pop up that I've heard before. We um, changed it, man. Just education, like bro. Like Snow Electric's album, just getting like music in me and not just hip hop all the time, which Facts. I think I like did a lot. I'm moving away from hip hop, man. I'm just, I love it, but it's just like I don't know. I don't. It doesn't. It doesn't sit with my spirit as as heavy as it used to, you know. Like, yeah, that's kind of why I got into the alternative, to the instruments, into the saxophones, and the yeah. marimbas, and the pianos, and. The hi hats and every all that good shit. So we need to talk more about alternative because yes, I agree with that. It's a very expanding genre that's yep. coming up, and yep. a lot of people need to cleanse their souls. There's so many people that are listening to all the lean rap and the perk rap, and we don't do half the shit. So yeah, it's not like good feel intimate. music. Yeah. I'll say that about like, music I mean, you know how I feel about come to life, like. It's my you shit, know what? Bro. Shit. What's your favorite song of the year? Can you like it's that's a hard question to think about it, but Song of the Year. Patience by Tame and Pablo. <laughs> 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 I love them niggas, man. I love Chick Cam, <laughs> yeah, bro. I know we heard Cam you singing. Be lying. Bro, he be singing, bro. We, like we, No, he we heard you song. singing, bro. We, bro, Tame and Paula, bro. I went to the concert, guys. If y'all ever have the chance, audience, I don't know where you're at, but if you have a chance to see Tame and Paula, please see them. You may be changed my for sure. I want to go. My life. They be singing, man. Kevin ain't missing a note. Shout out Kev. Bring me on. You know, bring me on tour. So bring I can you on listen. for what? Bring me <laughs> on tour just so I can listen. You know what I'm saying? Listen to all As an the shows. Av- an avid listener. I will be a fucking hype man. I will be hype. I will sing behind you, hit a drum, whatever I got to do, bro, because that shit was amazing. Change It just changed my life, bro. It's like really enhanced my spirit, yeah. bro. I agree. Uh, I agree with what you said, bro, because I was kind of just on that wave of listening to hip hop, hip hop, hip hop. So like being with you and like Wolf's influence and even finding my own shit to like get out of that realm and listen to like listen to like some peaceful, soulful shit. Feels good, bro. It does, it does bro. man. It cheers your soul up, bro. Like, I listen to meditation music in the sauna every day. Yeah. I just have to. Like, it just yeah. helps me. Like, I can't listen to, like, fuck your bitch in the yeah, car yeah, a lot. Like, at 730 while I'm living. Yeah. Like, yeah, no, too much. It's great, though. Don't get me wrong. Like, yeah, if you're trying to get that motivation and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need that motivation. Yeah. Or if you're trying to fuck a bitch in the car, like, that's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So like it gets you motivated. Bro. No, I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> it's the final episode. We don't care. Don't let me do no, final final no more final episode of season one. Not the final episode ever. We'll be back. Motherfuckers, you can't get rid of us. I just want to come on here. Thanks, Brandon. Thank you. Hey Zeus Wolf Ringel. Oh man. For allowing me to be on this podcast, man. Of course. Express brother. my voice, you know. Yeah. Talk my shit. Telling my opinions, telling my skin look good and yeah. I'm beautiful. So thank you, you for allowing me to be able to do that. You did it all year. I mean, I am beautiful though. At a high level. Yeah. You are. You know what I'm saying, man? I'm you keep, are. I mean, yeah, keep I'm expressing. Mad at that. You look, know what? The thing is, you That's know, it's okay to tell your male friends they're beautiful as well. Look, man. I've learned this. You can say something so much and make people believe it. Fine. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's, you can really, like, they might have thought I was ugly at one point and I just said I was beautiful so much that they just was like, you know what? Actually, you are pretty cute. Like, <laughs> Jordan, who? He's Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> like, <laughs> for real. Like, you just tell, like, but for real, like, on a serious ass note, if you really tell somebody, like, you're cute. I mean, that's the like the same with confidence. Like, if you don't got the confidence and if you think you ugly in a scrub, <laughs> you're, you're, 
<laughs> your energy is gonna be this motherfucker ugly in a scrub but That's you true. could be like not that attractive to people everyone has their own attractiveness right right or like what they like but you couldn't be but have the most confidence in the world everyone's like man that's my- Kind of sexy. What's yeah, up with like, him? You know it's like saying? Pete Davidson, bro. I swear I don't understand it. I don't get it. I don't get it. He's fucking. Hey, but he's, he's that man is well, be bagging. Bagging. be bagging. Man, his track record. But I, you bagging. know who knows, man. I'm. I ain't speaking on that either, man. Yeah. Speak, on, speak on my life. My name is Hector. Yeah, my name is Hector. I don't know about them, man. Me Part neither. Elites. No cap. But yeah, man. Hey, word of advice, guys. Please, man, just speak your confidence. That's another For tip. Real. You know, speak your confidence. Yeah. Be confident in yourself. Be don't confident in whatever you want to do. Yeah, don't And also execute. People. Don't Please. half execute. If you want to execute something and then you half execute something, obviously you're not going to be happy about it and then you're going to stop doing it. Like, Facts. if you want to do something, do it. And yeah. you know what? It's like one of those things when you keep telling yourself, like, it's like one of those things, like, I'm going to go to the gym today. I'm going to go to the gym today. I'll go tomorrow. I'll go tomorrow. The more and more you put it off, the more and more your like self-esteem and your mind is going to be like, well, you didn't do it. You mm-hmm. suck. Da, 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 da. Just go. Just even go that one time. One day, that one week, just do it. If I don't go to the gym before noon, I'm telling myself I suck. Damn. That's how it is. I'm proud I of you. I do the morning, bro. I'm just a big morning person. Yeah. The afternoon, I have attitude. Yeah. Like right now, I didn't go to the gym. But I'm happy to be here, you know, happy yeah. to be talking my shit and saying how beautiful I am. That's but one thing I, I want to improve on is getting back into the gym for sure. I'll be in there. Yeah, I know you do. I'll be in there. Every I morning. just always keep telling myself I don't have time or I'm tired. Like, I can make time always. But yeah, You be asleep, don't you? Been a, uh, yeah, I mean, but. You be asleep. I don't want to use my, my work schedule as an excuse, but. You can sleep. But you most of the time plus. I'm getting home, you about to wake up in two hours. Me? I, yeah, I'd be up at I'm getting home at 4, you up at 6.30. Yeah, so that's 6 hard for me to get up at a decent time before my shift, get before up. my doubles. Look, you get up at 9, get your workout in until 10, 20. You get and then what, go back to bed after? Yeah. Say, okay, at least I worked out. Yep. I'm not mad at it. Yeah. I'll work it in. Yeah, but you probably yeah. won't go back to sleep because I put your, my, your endorphins are running. So True. I put my focus in on certain things this year, and I accomplished them, and I'm happy nice. about that. I didn't get on myself for not being in the gym. You know what? Okay, cool. I'll get back to it. It's whatever. Right. Hey, man. Health is everything. Yeah. No, it is. Fuck all that money shit. I don't even care, bro. Hey, like I'm I taking see. my CMOS and my liquid IVs and, and my, my vitamin packs. Proud of you. You know? Proud of you, man. So I'm on that. Hey, we on yeah, that at look least. How, look at how great we're gonna, gonna be, man. Gonna season be two, good, bro. Season, season two, two y'all be ready for season two, man. I'm gonna have my begging to come on this shit. Six, six packs. Oh, man. you talking about how we gonna look? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking about how big? I was talking be? about how big we gonna oh, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's just a given. But both, man. I guess it's a it's a hand in hand situation. Facts, it's just yeah. a given. But nah, for real, and you, to. To touch base because I guess we're not a music podcast, but it's what we focus on. It was a good year of music, man. I'm happy for it. I feel like everyone's always so quick to fucking talk about who's better, who did this, this and that. Just enjoy it. Just enjoy the artistry. Fact. Just be happy. We had so many dope people on all realms of genres and music drop this year to go and listen to. And also, don't be afraid to go back to old classic shit sometimes. You know what I mean? Get educated. That's what I'm learning, man. I love... Take the time. I we all sit in shit. traffic. Throw on an album you think you'd never listen to and listen to it for a little bit. Facts. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like... I mean, I don't know, but I'm just like a... Uh, I'm, I've am i been getting into podcasts and stuff lately, too, man. Yeah? I shit. definitely got to switch it I up didn't listen time. to podcasts until we did a podcast. Straight yeah. up. That's no bullshit, no cap. Maybe. I never listened to podcasts. Until we did a podcast mm. And I only did that for insight At first to see how they kind of did shit mm-hmm. And I just realized like people just kind of Do whatever they want to do and they have listeners Listen if they want It's just like you know what I mean? There's no like agenda artists. by it Yeah, But like there is some dope ass podcast out there Facts 100%. We should make some NFTs Podcast uh, The NFTs. podcast shit, We can't drop that now to the people We gotta keep that for season 2 That'd be fire That would be fire That'd be fire and My mind's ticking We can be rich you know, Crow, Rich and Crow. Hey, I say this on the last episode. I'm saying on this episode, buy Crow, not financial. <laughs> not a advice, financial advisor, but buy, buy that, that Crow shit. coin. Buy that shit because yeah. they're about to go crazy. Digital inside information. We give you insight on life on this show. We just trying to make everyone rich and we want happy. Everybody to be great. You know what I mean? And it's simple. 
Simple. It is very simple. Very simple, man. Very you simple. gotta follow through, like you said, execution. Execute, execute, man. Nothing, you know what? Man. Fuck a New Year's resolution, all that bullshit. Whatever it is you want to do, just execute on it. Don't say I'm gonna start January first. Start now. Start this week. Fuck. Fucking execute because going into the year that way will feel so much better than doing the trend or whatever it is that a New Year's resolution is. I usually start the trend, so I'm pretty trendy. Trendsetter? Yeah, we trendsetters. Trend, yeah, we trendsetters, bro. Now you're going to see a lot of people doing exactly what we're doing. They trying. Music, and then they trying. mixing life tips in there. They with, trying, with but they can't do it. They ain't going to do it. Exactly. They ain't going to do it. I'm proud <laughs> of it. I'm, I'm semi-happy whoever listens to this episode because <laughs> we're just talking a bunch of just shit. Just talking shit. You know what? But good. That's it. That's what we got to do. Hey, man, it's been a beautiful year. That's it has, man. In a good time on the show all year. Yes. Executed. Executed. Shout out to all the guests and that Matt. came on. Shout out to Matt. Matt is on a new life endeavor. We love Matt. Again. We we'll love give, you, Matt. We'll give him that one more time. We're going to miss Matt. Don't worry. We're still going to be going. Um, but yeah, man, it's been a good year. Shout out to all the artists that drop stuff. Producers. People behind the scenes. Thanks. Shout out to everyone supporting. Shout out my mom. Pam. I dropped Pam's name a Pam. few times on the episode. Not Shout out Pam. Pam. Shout out Pam. Always sharing. Always sharing. Mm-hmm. Facebook, share. Ooh. She don't care about my podcast. She don't, she don't know nothing about it. She'll share she it, though. She share it. Sure, What's up support. with y'all, man? My mom's sharing. Where y'all at, man? Hey, man. I got homies not sharing, 2022, bro. I, pay, I expect everybody to be tuning in, man. man. We ain't even going to ask for nobody to tune in. Let's just tune in. Nope. They know what it is. They're going to tune in with us. They know what's up. They know us. They know I'm us. Excited. I'm excited. I'm too, excited bro. for this. Day. I love you, my brother. My brother. Me. Love you, man. Let's year, keep doing bro. this. We got it. We miss Wolf. Wolf, I wish you were here, bro. I feel like we're missing, you know. It, it, it's it's like Felly said. He's like, there's something about you three, bro. There's something, man. Felly, no. Well, shout out Felly, man. That was that was definitely probably podcast wise my highlight. So that oh and God. the that and the one-on-one openness I had with Ro on that show, that episode that we did. That was fire, too. That was dope. Because I feel like we just sat down and actually, like, opened. You know what I mean? Which was mm. cool for people to see that know the both of us. And people that don't know us specifically, you know, his fans, whatever. Those are probably my two highlights for the well, podcast. I had to say mine was our first episode. And then Felly, obviously. The first episode was dope, bro. Yeah, Because we kind of just set the tone. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just us three talking. It was cool. You still stand by your statement that Hold On, We're Going Home is Drake's best, best record. Song. Yeah, forever. What's Kanye's best record? Mm, something on, like, My Beautiful Dark Fantasy, probably. That's what you think? Probably. Which one? I don't know. I don't know. So Paul's up there <laughs> Power's up there um, Yeah I don't know bro There's a lot I just know that Drake it's song is just like Extremely composed very well and there's just too You're saying there. it's timeless yeah. You know what I think it is It's Can't Tell Me Nothing Every time he performs that shit yeah. Cause you know I've seen him a bunch. Seen a bunch you know? <laughs> Stupid This guy But you know what the four times years. I have seen him when he performs that song, it's it's like lights out. Yeah, everybody. But that's like his song that got him, not got him large. He didn't get him. I mean, I I just think it's a good fucking record. And like, what are you saying? Mm. And the melodies and the raps in it. You know what I mean? Right. Like, it's good. It's just fucking good. That song can come on anywhere, anytime. It's timeless. You could play it at the wedding, like Wolf was saying. Mm. You could play it anywhere. I still think it's. I don't know. Power. I don't think so. I think power is such a long song. It's a very build up to it's when you listen to power, it's a long song. Can't tell me nothing is in that like three minute realm. Three minute realm. Yeah. Okay, I, get that. I like I, long songs. Five, seven minutes long. They're my favorite. Get are lost. they? Yeah. Run away. Get a loss. Run away. And that's yeah, it too. Yeah, yeah. He did run away. I love getting lost. Yeah. yeah. No, I feel you, but that's like the music head in you. I'm talking about like from a strategic level. And like your own mind, like yeah. the best song in Kanye's catalog. When we put in all that stuff we talked about, like when Felly talked about what's Wayne's best song, he said technically it'd be a Millie. 
Yeah, I'll give you that. You got that I one. think it's can't can, tell me nothing, bro. You can have that one. I think it's can't tell me I nothing, man. Anytime you hear that, la la, bro. <laughs> every yeah, time, that's true. bro. That's every true. time, that's true. Every that's time, true. that's true. That's true. But I still don't. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna think about that. I'm gonna come back next season with that answer. <laughs> okay. You gotta take. You gotta take a couple months off to think about <laughs> that. Take you, feel me? You and they come drop. back like, hey, I remember best song. Who is your favorite? Who is your most listened to female artist? Snow Lager, probably. Okay. Love her. Yeah. She's Mine's probably beautiful. Doja. Doja? She's cool. It's probably Doja. I'm going to say yeah. uh, Snow Laker, bro. Her voice is just so beautiful. I fuck with Snow, bro. Heavy. You know She's that. She's so beautiful. She's and so Joha beautiful. Smith. Georgia. Both of them, bro. Georgia. Yeah. yeah. Fire. Both of them. I'm going to just... Uh, I, bro, I don't know what it is about Snow, bro. No, nah, she be... Bro, her albums are beautifully put together. Yeah, I think it's just... Yeah. Thing. And she fuck She with makes Tyler. albums. You she know what I mean? Tyler Heavy. She ain't like a single dropper. Like nah. if she drops a single, it's cool. But like when she drops a body of work, it's, it is it's like elite. it's hypnotizing. It's like yeah, you could yeah, play yeah. that shit, male, female, kid, mm. old, whatever. Facts. Like it's good fucking and it, music. It good. And you know what you can't beat is good fucking music. Anything, I don't care who you are. If it's good, it's good. Anything that you like that makes you feel good. Yeah. Like, facts. Like you can listen. But when you feel it, that's, that's why I love feeling. Like, feeling, love the, hearing so and feeling are two different things, bro. Way two different. You things. always hear music, but that's, when you hear and feel it, that's just like listening. It's like, different. You hear, you can hear and listen. Yep. You know what I mean? One hundred percent, bro. Like gems, bro. Yeah, gems. I'm all about them. Tap in with me. Daily gems. Gems. Digital gems. Join gems. the Discord. All right. Not financial advice. But, Join the Discord. Though. <laughs> Digital I'm gonna things. ask Raymark to put your name up as Hector Rodriguez. Hector. <laughs> I don't know why we chose the name Hector, but it just happened. I did. Remember I did yeah, it just happened, name. bro. Love it. All right, all right. So before we sign off, though, for season one, we let's let's both give a hot take for maybe maybe who wins what or next year, anything could be anything. Okay. Sports, whatever you want. If it's gonna be sports, who's yeah, going no, 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 no. It's oh. just one hot take. It don't have to be sports. Uh, or do you, would you rather do categories on hot takes? Let's do that. Just simple answers. We don't uh, got to get into our explanations. For sure. All right. Okay, here we go. What's Who the wins the NBA championship? Don't. <laughs> Lakers. Warriors. Lakers. Warriors are going to win the NBA championship this year. Watch. LeBron. I love you Celtics so I love much. LeBron, but but uh, it's the Warriors. It's the, it's the Warriors. I feel you. I mean, they're balling right now. They're going to get Clay back. They're going to win. It's the Warriors. Just a, hey, bro. I don't think that's it. I'm just saying, bro. I'm just a real. I'm a real ass. I'm, I I'm realistic. I want. Together. I want to say Celtics. I don't believe it. It's the Warriors. Well, I think it's gonna be Lakers. I think they're gonna give it, get it together. Who wins the win. Super Bowl? Tom Brady again, and he's gonna retire. I don't think so. Who you think? Man, this the is Patriots. actually one I believe. I think the, the Pats Patriots. got it, bro. No, they're not, bro. Bro, they threw the ball three times and beat the Bills. I don't believe it. Bro. All those years, we the year we almost three-peated, those years, mm -hmm. it was built off of defense, a quarterback that just, Tom Brady coming up, don't fuck up, throw it here, and don't do anything stupid in a hard run game. It's literally the same foundation. We have the best defense in the league. We have the top running offense in the league, and we have a quarterback that's a rookie that doesn't do anything stupid and breaking rookie fucking records. 70% completion. We're going to see. He's doing well. I think the Pats got it. I don't see And if they well. don't, whatever. But that's who I actually do believe in this year. I think we got it. I just don't, can't bet against Tom Brady. All right. Who who do you think will win uh, album of the year for the Grammys? You know that shit's political. I don't know, actually. I Tyler, think they're going to give it to Tyler. Tyler, yeah. Tyler, yeah, Tyler yeah. Kanye. I think they'll give it to I think if they give it to Donda, everyone will be shocked. Not in like a it didn't deserve it. They'll be like, holy shit, they actually gave this man a Grammy. Yeah, but uh, yeah. actually, nah, he did that Taylor Swift shit. That was the Grammys. Was it the Grammys? Or know. VMAs? I don't know. That's what I'm asking. I can't remember. It's either one. Grammys. It's either yeah, one. He's not fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not fucking with him at all. It's going to be Tyler. It's going to be Tyler. Seth Tyler's going to get it. I think it's going to be Easily. I think he's get. Yeah, he's getting it. They love him. It, they yeah, do. they he love him, but it's a great there. fucking album. Nothing to take away from him, but they they do love him. Facts, you know Facts. what I mean. They love Tyler. He always uh, wins awards. 
Yeah. Always, always. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hmm. What would? You, what do you? Ones. Hot take next year, music wise. What do you think drops as like a shocker? Like no one's thinking about it or ready for it. Kendrick probably. Kendrick. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you one thing. I heard Cuddy play two unreleased tracks that are coming out. I think he's about to drop like one of the albums. In okay. A, I'm just not, I don't know, bro. Not, I love Cuddy, man. I do too. I mean, I used I'm saying to, to hear those two tracks that he played, like in my realm, I think that he gets back to something like the sound I heard on that shit, bro. When you talk about alternative, like no one is Cuddy. No one Cuddy is Cuddy. No one makes songs like Cuddy. Yeah, I agree. He's just a little, little sad. I'm just saying, I think the music I heard, at least off those two records, it couldn't be the whole album, but I think he might shock the world and like drop a fucking classic body of work. Next I'm year. interested. I, I, to be honest, I'm not even looking forward to 2022. I'm just keeping it present right now, bro. True. I ain't gonna lie. So we don't got to look at the I don't future. even think. I'm just taking, we just doing hot takes. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, I'm just thinking. Another hot take. We going to be rich as fuck next year. Facts. Off of crypto alone. Same. Shout out my boy Crypto. Yeah, we are not crypto. financial advisors. No. Nope. But crypto.com coin. Shout out. Sandbox. Shout out. Anything video game. Alright. Is there anything else you can think of? Should, is that it? I think that's we kinda it. Kind of touch bro. base on a lot, bro. Yeah, we do. That's it. It's a fun episode. We just talking. Love y'all, man. Yeah, we love episode. y'all for real. The the people that do tune in and listen every week. Fucking and uh, give me the support and energy I need in my life to continue doing this. Thank you. It does not go unnoticed. Look, for real, I just love y'all because y'all tuning in to me yeah. and checking everything out and just oh, really boy. checking in on our hot takes and and really supporting us, man. Like this means the world to us. And yeah, just can't thank you enough. A couple of shout outs real quick too. Shout out Nate for the space. Shout out Nate. We love you, Nate. Nate Brush, check him out. Dope producer and a dope space runs Mav Lash as well. Ladies, trying Need to get your lashes, lashes looking like mine, you but mine are natural. But natural. Uh, <laughs> come to natural. Mav Lash, get that Brandon Lash treatment. <laughs> I should pitch that. Give him the Brandon Lash treatment. Facts. I'm saying you could. It's just a beautiful. And then like, <laughs> you know how you feel about your skin? I feel about my eyelashes. My shit better than yours. Nah. Are we talking about like a competition between if? Girls could have your skin on my eyelashes. No, my I eyelashes. bet you if we're both at the bar at the same time, they'll go, I wish I had your lashes before they said, I wish you had your skin. I bet no. In my life. <laughs> he said, I bet no. Yeah, no. <laughs> I get my, I get compliments on my shit all the time. Oh, my God. I'm so, I'm, we're I'm stupid, bro. bro. All right. Yeah, no, shout out, Nate. Shout out, Matt, again. I can't say it enough. Matt, we going to miss you, bro. Love you. We love you. This could have not been done without Matt. We're still looking forward to what's going to happen after this. Shout out Wolf. My brother is not here right now, but it wouldn't be the same without Wolf. Right. Shout out Ro. Ro kind of pushed me to do this originally. Shout out Duke. Duke was the very first episode I did, and I couldn't think of a better guest to have. Fucking love Duke. Great ass human, man. Shout out you, bro. My brother. My brother. Love you, dog. Love. Been a good year. Been a good season one, man. That's it, man. We appreciate it. Thank you for listening, for real. Thank you, man. And watching. Thank you for tuning in and watching and just, you know, supporting us. That's it. Can't Tune in next enough. season, man. Tune it's in. It's going to be dope. We're excited. We are taking a little bit of time off. We need it. But we're going to come back and be better, even though we're already excellent. But we're going to be better because we only strive for greatness. Facts. You know SFG, what I mean? baby. <laughs> strive for greatness. Be great. But we love y'all, man. We appreciate it. That is it. That is this last episode of season one of All Base No Trouble. We love y'all. Great energy. Always. Peace. Love. We'll see you soon. Love. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for checking out this week's episode of All Base No Trouble. If you could please subscribe and like and also get the notification button smashed for us, that would mean the world to us. If you'd like to keep up with myself, my co-host, or our special guest this week, all of our social medias and info is right below. And if you would like to listen, tune into Apple Podcasts or Spotify as you can hear us on there as well. Again, thank you so much for tuning in this week and I will see you on the next episode.